We started this whole thing talking about LeBron, who is also on the cover of the new issue of ESPN Magazine. Our friend Pablo Torre wrote a really interesting story here. It's on LeBron's business and entertainment companies and how he's setting up for the next phase of his career. And such an important distinction here is the way LeBron has ownership of these situations. Guys like Shaq and, of course, Kareem got to be in movies. LeBron owns the movie company. Now, I mean, is this a power dynamic that other players can follow, can emulate? You know, it's funny. I just recorded a podcast with Pablo that's going to be out on the True Hoop Network later today talking about this. And I say no because okay. he's the exception. He's not the rule. And I likened it uh, to when people see a 6'4", 6'5", power forward in college who's dominating and say, oh, this guy, this guy has what it takes at the next level. And you question it at that size, and people say, well, Charles Barkley did it. Charles Barkley is special. Like, there aren't Charles Barkley just growing everywhere and they just haven't been given a chance. He was special. LeBron is special in his uh, level of leverage and influence. I don't know if other players can emulate it because they don't have that, those same gifts. I, I have to agree. Uh, another player like Charles, uh, Adrian Dantley. Yes. Six, four and a half and plays on the front line and gets away with it for a whole career and did an incredible job. Undersized, you know. But when we talk about off the, when you talk about off the court with the money these guys make now, I agree. LeBron is special because he's. I think in Pablo's article they talk about being a clutter cutter, right? right? That his name just cuts through that media clutter, and everybody knows who he is. But guys have so much extra money now that they didn't have back back uh, decades ago. <laughs> who who could who could we be talking about? Um, that they can start their own production companies. Yes. That they can have. They don't have to work for someone else, even in areas like this, right? I'm glad that uh, people like LeBron are thinking in those terms because uh, his community needs it. Right. You know, the black communities need entrepreneurs that can set up businesses so that the people in those communities can realize their ambitions uh, with black ownership. And that, that's going to make a difference. And that's a huge part, he's, obviously, of, he's of what a he's doing. He's making a difference in northern Ohio. I do. I'm stopping you because I'm, I do not. I want Kareem story time. Okay. You cannot jump right. into Kareem story time. I was going to give a Kareem compliment. Okay, go <laughs> saying that other people can emulate what LeBron does is like saying that other basketball players can now be historians and write books because Kareem did. No, <laughs> well, Kareem's true. special. No, Kareem That's is why special. he's able to do it, right, not I because he's a basketball player. I want story time with Kareem. So okay. please, now All that right. this is giving us an excuse to ask you about your Hollywood career. Yeah, um, I was, yes, oh. exactly. <laughs> Airplane, right? Um, I was this morning watching Bruce Lee videos <laughs> of you. What, what, what sort of, if you, when people say, tell me story, tell me story, what's your, what's your good story? Here. Uh, I met Bruce when I was going to UCLA and I, I had started studying martial arts in New York and I wanted to continue continue and um, the guy over at the Black Belt magazine directed me to Bruce. He said that he had time and he was just working on a movie. Everybody a TV had series. time for you. <laughs> no, no, he, he was uh, doing uh, the Green Hornet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so hey, uh, he had time and I started working with him and of course he, he won me over. To, the way he did it, uh, he said, yeah, show me how you can punch and kick. I went at the bag a little bit. He brought his wife out, said, stand behind the bag and let her kick it. She kicked it. And I, oh, oh, wow. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe I better learn that. <laughs> oh, man. And, and the movie you were in with him turned out to be the last movie he ever did. Yeah, it was the last one. We, we never really finished it, A Game of Death. Although the clips are obviously all out there, and, yeah. and people in the Bruce Lee canon know it, yeah. for sure. Absolutely.